chef together. Uh, we imported actually from Vienna. Uh, we have a Diplomacy and Commerce magazine also in Vienna since 2019, and they started this concept there. And this year we said, okay, let's let's chef together in Belgrade too. Uh, bueno, correct me uh, if I'm wrong. This is the four, fourth fourth event. Uh, we started with uh, Tur Turkey, then it was in Indonesia, yeah, and Cuba, and Cuba, and this is fourth. Until the end of this year, we will have, I think, three or uh, we, yeah, or four more. We will have Georgia, Georgia in, in two weeks, and then three three more. Uh, so I would like to thank uh, President Palace Hotel for supporting us, uh, Company Little Serbia also, all embassies that are always. With us, uh, I have I see uh, many old friends and also some new faces. And if I may quote uh, this famous sentence from Casablanca movie, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you. Uh, I prepared uh, a serious speech, and then I realized that I'm I'm just a more friends, honestly. And um, I have first to express thanks to uh, President's Hotel because of the organization. It seems more as if I'm home with my friends dining together. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Egyptian Cuisine Dinner as part of the project Let's Chef Together. We are grateful to be a part of such a project and that you will have the opportunity to experience the flavors of Egypt's food tonight. Um, I believe that uh, uh, food is a reflection of any culture. And the older the culture, the more history it has, the more variety of uh, an exquis uh, ex exquisite food uh, it has. Egyptian food is one of Africa's most unique and fascinating cuisines. The influences of the Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, Arab, and African uh, 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 cultures have contributed to Egypt in having a variety of dishes that are mostly a combination of a large selection of vegetables and meat. The Mediterranean uh, and Red Seas provide access to fresh fish and sea uh, food, and Egypt's uh, unique geographical position has always been favorable for the exchange of different and numerous spices, as you can see. Aish Baladi, Egyptian bread, is extremely important. It's a strategic commodity in the Egyptian market. Its name carries strong symbolism. Aish means life in Arabic. And this kind of bread is made from a simple recipe and forms the backbone of Egyptian cuisine. And it's a significant part of almost every Egyptian meal. People can live on bread in Egypt for days. If it's not there, it's catastrophic. There is always a variety of food on the Egyptian table, and it all starts with a large selection of appetizers. Mostly, they are various salads, cheese, small dishes such as Ta'meya, baba ghanoub, baladi salad, torshi, which is pickles, and many more. The most fascinating fact is that cheese is thought to have originated in the Middle East. Egyptians have a wide variety of cheese, and the most popular is mish, which is fermented salty cheese. It requires a strong stomach to be able to eat it and digest it. Main courses are usually rich with vegetables and meat. Our national dish is koshari. It started in the 19th century. It's one of the most popular uh, dishes in Egypt. Uh, main courses, uh, sorry, our desserts also are rich in flavor and sweetness, such as basbusa, kunafa, atayev. Um, this dinner will also be uh, followed with traditional Egyptian beverages, such as the ones we're drinking, karkade, uh, which is hibiscus, and sobia, which is more of a coconut drink, and other herbal teas that are very much popular in Egypt. I would like to express my gratitude for you, that you will be able to try the most of Egyptian food tonight, here in Belgrade. I am really looking forward to hearing from you which meal is your favorite, and I hope you don't get stomach aches after. I'm very much grateful to Color Media Communications, Mr. Robert Chopin, for inviting us to be the host of this dinner tonight and for the great organization. I would like also to thank Leader, which provided us with the necessary ingredients, and of course, President Hotel for offering this nice venue. And finally, a 
special thanks to our two chefs, Danello from our embassy and Uroch from uh, Present Hotel. Please step forward. And also, I would like to express gratitude for our musician Nenad, who will be playing on, please step forward, on the traditional Egyptian uh, musical instrument, Raoult. Thank you once again for attendance, and I really wish you an enjoyable night.